Kelly, and I wanted to read a story to you. I have Samantha the Story Mouse with me, and she is wanting to come out for our story time. All right, Samantha, come on out and join us. There she is, and what does Samantha say? Please be quiet, because I have teeny tiny mouse orejas. We'll do that for you, Samantha. Like Miss Kelly's class always says, sure we will, Samantha. Okay, here comes my handy dandy reading glasses. And our book is Splat the Cat and the Quick Chicks. Okay, let's open it up. This is written by Rob Scotton. Splat the Cat and the Quick Chicks. And it's also written by Laura Driscoll. Here we go. Splat's class had class pets, chicken eggs. Very soon they would hatch, then they would be chicks. That's kind of like our class. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple asked, would someone take the eggs home to watch tonight? Quick as a week, every paw flew up in class. We'll pick sticks, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple said. Whoever picks the longest stick takes home the chicks. One by one, every cat picked a stick. Plank picked a long stick. Kitten picked a longer stick. Splat picked the longest stick of all. Hooray! Mrs. Wimple Dimple helped Splat get the eggs all packed up. Now just keep an eye on them and keep them warm, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. That will do the trick. That's what we did for our eggs. We kept them warm in the incubator. Splat carried the eggs home slowly and carefully. No skips, no kicks, no quick sudden moves along the way. Splat made the chicks a cozy nest in his warm drawer. At bedtime, Splat said, Good night, chicks, and turned out the light. Click. Early the next morning, Splat woke with a start. He felt a peck right on his ear. He felt a tickle on his nose and more tickles on his feet. Splat looked at the nest. The eggs had hatched. The chicks were out and about. Two chicks were on Splat, but where were the rest of them? Cheep, cheep. Splat's ears pricked up. He followed the sound. He found two chicks in his thick, warm socks. Splat found two more chicks snuggled up to the clock. They liked the tick tock tick-tock sound. Splat looked in his toy corner. There was a chick in a truck. There was a chick in Splat's magic trick box. One chick was sitting in the paint box. Uh-oh. And there were two chicks in the house that was made of snap-together bricks. We have those in our classroom, too. Splat had found 11 chicks, but one was still missing, and Splat was worried sick. Then Splat heard a pick, peck, pick, peck. He turned around just in the nick of time. There was the last chick. It picked and it pecked at the basket, then it hopped away. The other chicks went with it. Stop, chicks! said Splat. Please stop. Splat chased chicks up and chased chicks down. Chicks fell in, but chicks hopped out. Wet feathers drip, drip, drip in the sink. Splat stepped into a puddle. Splat! The chicks stood all over Splat. We better get to school before you run away again, said Splat. Look at all those chicks. Splat led the way. 
The chicks followed each move that he made. With skips and kicks, the good little chicks got to school lickety-split. Splat's class was so surprised. Instead of eggs, now there were... Chicks, said Mrs. Wimple Dimple. But Splat, I think there's a missing chick. Oh no, thought Splat. But before he could even get worried sick, Splat heard a cheep, 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 cheep. Phew, said Splat. These chicks are quick. Do you see where the chick is hiding? Behind the teacher's apple, right there. That's a fun book for Splat the Cat and all of his chicks from his class. And I'm going to be putting some pictures up for you guys to see our chicks that hatch and some videos. I hope you saw those. More pictures to come. Bye-bye for now.